And welcome back. This is Kotal, another War Rights event. We're having a good weekend so far. It is Saturday and we have a UEC. This is server one. Um, they had to split servers. Um, current server pop is 165 and the map is Hagerstown Turnpike. We have 80 on the defending CSA versus 85 on the attacking Union. Let's take a look at that Union team. Looks like we got Sergeant Leo here with the SB on the arty for at least one gun. Swing over and check out that infantry team here. They have the home guard to USC, along with the anchor of the Union, the dancing men of the SB. Dear Father God, thank you for your unfailing love for us, your blessings and goodness. Thank you for your faithfulness to guide us and see us through times of uncertainty, for lifting us up and setting us on high. Thank you for scripture that comforts and reminds me and reminds us of your promises plan and provision. Thank you for taking away my fears and worries, the what-ifs, and reminding us that my help comes from you. Help us to be a good steward and to sow wisely. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. And that amen. is the so NYP with both the 88 the and 6, rise. led by and their fact, chaplain, Mr. Jeffman. Or Pastor Jeffman, I think I might say. Um, for leadership, we have Eddie leading the 2 USC, Souther leading the NYV 88th, uh, Lieutenant Dar leading the 6th New York, SP led by Major Venom, and GC German Corps led by Colonel Weber. Did I miss the GC? There they are, right there. I missed them. On the CSA, we are live at 40, but we got a little bit of time here anyway. So, let's see here. They have the LFL, Lee's French Legion here. And they are led by Mr. Ark. Then we have the 6th Texas, led by Captain Rousseau. The 2nd New York, led by John Beck. 2 Corps, led by Sergeant Major Barron. And the 20th Georgia, led by Colonel Jumbo. And they also have one gun. It is, excuse me, the LFL under Jackson Ells. All right, we are live. Um, here is the Union spawn. Point of contention is right over here. CSA spawn is back there. Uh, CSA Arty is up along here versus Union Arty, which is starts over there, but it looks like they've already moved the gun into uh, this position over here. Yeah, by the way, uh, okay, Old, did you want me gonna, or do you let Jay take the gunner position? I'll do next round if you want. Okay, Jay, you can be gonna. Um, well, I'll just, I'll just take off. You see, the Union is already moving out here in a pretty aggressive fashion. They are not going for the hill. Instead, they are occupying the center of the map with two units, and they have two other units moving to the flank. In the center, it is the anchor, along with the 6th New York here, defending the center on the wide flank here. We do have the 88th joined by Dad's Army, occupying this position here on the rocks. We do have one small Union regiment back here, the GC, which has now started moving out. They might be heading out to the uh, kind of hill right there. On the other hand, we do have the CSA on this side, which is 6 Texas, and a great spot to uh, ambush the uh, SB Zardy. We have also here the 52nd New York and 2 Corps, kind of overlooking the center. And then here is LFL, kind of just below this incline here. And they are going to march up here. Uh, you do not want to have discussions when you're up covered. Yes, you want to have those discussions before you move up. <laughs> and the Union has gone for an early cap here. I fully support. We'll see how this goes, and indeed the uh, 20th New York has moved over to kind of guard the flank along the hill here. So we will see what the CSA does to try to counter this Union uh, positioning here. 
But in fact, we have a forward movement here by one unit. Oh, yeah. It is the 6th Texas, and they're going to try to fight against the men of the German Corps here. And they are going to fall back after that initial fight. So Colonel Vibar has held his ground so far. Canister inserted. Just one canister? Let's check on the other Artie. I think I just missed a shot by them. Looks like they're targeting point. Kind of supporting the 20th Georgia who's right in front of them. Oh, they are adjusting their targeting. And are they going to target, who is this, the 2 USC right in front of them? Or this unit over here? Well, make sure this is the 2 USC. Indeed, that is the 2 USC over here. And then we have the 88th by Lieutenant Souther. But he is going to displace here. Again, staying underneath as best he can. The defilade here to avoid silhouetting himself. And in fact, going to come up behind the 2 USC here. And kind of use him as a screen force. Which Eddie tells me he doesn't know that he's doing it. Yet every time I look, not every time, but most times I look, there is a screen force that the 2 USC is executing here in a doctrinally correct use of cavalry. Well, he's going to come up here and try to ambush men of the 20th. Let's see if we can get a shot off on Mr. Jumbo and his troops. Come on, do it. You said we'll volley and pull back. No, just fucking put a round in. Okay, I just wait for the, yeah, for the firing order. I was waiting for the order to fire, yeah. Yeah, me too. As you can see, the home guard has discussions on the orders as they come in. Uh, looks like the two US uh, GC was pushed back here. By the 6th Texas, they have now occupied this position on the hill. They are joined by the LFL. They are going to chase the poor men of the GC back to their spawn, and they have secured this hill and have a nice angle to begin firing on the anchor of the Union there, the SB on point. We will see what Ark does here with the LFL. Along with the 6th Texas, they got a pretty powerful force here now. Uh, I guess that was a K shot? I'm not sure. Kind of blew up right on their feet here. Or not? No, Are they giving them the uh, their backs? Well, hold, wait, wait, wait. They're not even aimed there. At least there's some aim. Yeah, go. gone on the road. Hopefully they're going to move soon. No. You got to hurry it up. Uh, Run! No, pull back, pull back. Now you took too long. Yes, yeah, so you got to be quick when you do it. Yep, and LFL is going to charge out the guns there. So, while that's going on, though, 6 Texas has come up here to attack the SB. Try to contest the point a bit. But GC should be getting back into... Yep, here they are. Here comes the GC. And now since LFL is chasing the Artie, the GC is now unrestrained here, and they're going to come up on the 6 Texas and pay them back for what they got earlier. And 6 Texas, Captain Rousseau is wisely getting out of there and not sticking around unnecessarily. In the meantime, we still have this fight here that is going on. Jumbo trying to hold back both the 88th and the 2 USC here. Uh, address it right once it's loaded, gentlemen, if you can. Why? 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 
Like zone. Sorry, Vivid, that was close to that. Sorry. Keep it the fire, boys. Now again, you might be wondering why isn't the Union being more aggressive here? Well, they are. They have capped, so at the moment they can kind of you know stand back here because they're not really eating up any time here and just kind of hurt the uh, CSA tickets a little bit and eat up the time and force them to uh, attack out in the open. Ooh, shot a little bit high there. Did I get him? I left. Look at bleak, fellas. Shoot whatever you see. Your guys in front and right. Yeah, look at him. See, on the fire. hill. It's up to you. Little ants. Are they still in the bush? Now, now this game is called War of Rights. It is available on Steam for 30 US dollars. Um, while I would rec recommend it, I would be careful about what servers to join. Um, some are moderated, some are not. Thankfully, this one is. Those that are not are not. Uh, Permissible for YouTube, I'll put it that way. You guys can draw your own conclusions what that means. Um, now, this event is moderated. It is, in fact, it is admined by uh, Mr. Fleischer here and Sergeant Bell. So, both sides are getting looked at, making sure everybody's following the rules of the event. And the event is called, as I mentioned earlier, the United European Community Event. Oh, we had a charge over here, I missed. So, it looks like the 88th 2 USC have charged out the 20th. And uh, knock them back. So a nice little victory there for them. And oh, here comes back the uh, SB force here, looking to take back their Artie. Let's see who have I watched in a while. Watch 52nd in a little bit. Uh, Keep an eye on them we're here. Try, we're gonna try to the the the, the, cup the point, okay? Now the event is the United European Community okay. event. It is held every Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. GMT. Link in the description if you are interested in signing up your unit. In fact, for today, we have two servers going. Unfortunately, no Jehovah today. He is actually in Antietam uh, doing more work to get his certification as a, uh, you know, as a, um, I don't want to say a tour guy, because that makes it smaller than what it actually is, but as one of the uh, historians on the battlefield that gives, uh, you know, information to visitors. So you think, oh, it's a tour guy. Eh, There's a lot more to it than that. So, but, uh, you guys are stuck with me for this one. Now, I've also left in the description links to all these units if you're a player that's looking for a unit. Um, as you can see, there's multiple languages that are, you know, used uh, by these units. So if you've got a specific primary language and you're looking for a unit, I highly recommend checking out any one of these. That conforms to, you know, your inclinations and your schedule. By the left flag, I'm... Left flag. And of course, if you're enjoying the video, I always appreciate any likes, subscribes, comments, shares, all that fun stuff to help the channel grow and get more exposure to this event and others. Fire! Uh, they might be a little bit too high for Neil. I don't know if that actually gets them out of the exposure. Milkshake's got it. Uh, the Union has really, the 2 USC 88th team that's been back here has really pushed back the CSA and kind of got them stuck in this back corner while you've had the anchor of the Union, the SB joined by the 88th, the 88th, the 6th New York, and uh, also supported by GC on the flank, holding down this center here. Um, so far, the CSA has not been able to make a move to recap. Um, see if that changes here soon. Did you shoot? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think that was canister, but I didn't really see too many go down from it. Let's see. Uh, the CSA is now at engaged at 10 minutes remaining on this counterattack, but 37 minutes on the main clock here. Um, we'll see if they can get some tickets back when they retake the point, but I don't think they'll be able to re easily retake the points against the SB in 6 New York like that. I don't know about re... Yep, good job. By Sergeant Major Baron, you do not want to reload out in cover. You Out in the open, you want to get some at least cover. If not that, at least some concealment uh, before you go in. Second to the... 
Uh, we recap. Right to point. left. Looks like they're all massing behind that. Now, speaking there. of oh, units yeah, here, this yeah, is the, the NYV run. Six New York. They play both NA and EU events, including the HRD on Sundays, uh, UEC on Fridays and Saturdays, TSA on Fridays, uh, which is NA time, and then the HDC also um, on uh, Saturdays, which is also at the NA time. So a very active, very robust unit. They also do a lot of training. They are a cavalry unit, so the 6th New York Cav. They train both um, uh, based on the manuals uh, for both cavalry and infantry tactics. They are partnered up with the 88th. They have an awesome YouTube channel. I highly recommend you check it out. Both doing highlight vids, also interviews that Parker does. I think he just did one with 19th Indiana. I highly recommend you check it out. Um, so one of the... Uh, uh, and they also believe very much, one of the things you'll notice about the 6th New York is they very much believe in um, diversifying the leadership and giving multiple people chances to lead. But speaking of, here comes 20th Georgia, the Colonel Jumbo here, who is now, with the aid of the 6th Texas, have chased off the 88th and the 2 USC. And they're going to have to come back here. Eddie's going to have to get his men reassigned back here while the CSA is in a position to recap. Now that they've chased them off, we'll see if the Union can test it, or if they, um... Ooh. See that fire coming in, just devastating the 6th Texas. And we've also got 20th Georgia here, another veteran unit that engages in uh, multiple events, both NA and EU time. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, Major Cannon and Colonel Jumbo there. Now they are one of the uh, most, uh, what would I call it, uh, level-headed units here. Um, they, they do. Their leadership does not panic under fire. They know, and they, and they also know how to have a good time. Um, so they kind of, you know, they, they very much are looking to have fun in the events, and they don't get uh, too wrapped up in stuff. Uh, but they're still very competitive to win the events. So uh, another great unit to take a look at if you're looking to uh, looking for a unit to join. As you can see, though, the Union did not have to actually move any troops up. The concentrated fire by the anchor of the Union, the SB, along with the NYV, supported also by the two USC and 88th, and managed to outshoot them. GC also came up. It was a full Union team here. And you can zoom out here and see now what's happened is the Union has put basically two intersecting lines of fire against the uh, CSA here, and it is really doing a lot of damage to them. Artie is trying to do some damage as well, the CSA LFL Artie, but they have not yet pushed off Union, who has now just gone to engage. But uh, that actually... Uh, the more the CSA kills right now, it actually hurts them a bit. Here is the LFL putting in some fire. They still have six minutes to recap here, but uh, this is turning into... They are well masked here. Um, frankly, they I would say they need to charge in sooner than later. Because in the shootout here, they're going to continue getting a lot of fire. This inner, you know, this interlocking fields of fire is going to be really devastating for them. Trying to get a decent angle on this. Venga, no movemos, no movemos. Corten, corten, recarga. See, as they shift left, though, these guys are going to start taking infillet fire from that position over there. Nice reload. So we'll see. The Union can stand up to this. They got five more minutes. They got to hold. Oh, we do have a forward movement here by the LFL. But they are now exposing their flank to the GC over there. GC is a little bit far back, but we'll see if they can do some damage to the LFL here. And try to weaken the SB and the 6 New York here enough to push them off of that point. Good target selection there by the center units here, focusing on the Alderfeld. They were the biggest danger, and now Ark has been forced to pull back here. In the meantime, we also have 
the already has now moved to move their gun position here. Confederate line over there to be for me. Hello, gentlemen of the union. Oh, I need to get a shell. Hold on. Let me get a shell. Let me oh, they are in a very good position and they can get an already shot off in time here. But they might be taking too long here, unfortunately. And those guys might move off by the time they get that shot. Yep, it took a little bit too long. Oh, I never mind. I'll move towards the point. Now. I would stay that cannon right there. Oh, I, I disagree with this, but they're going on to the point anyway. Let's take a look at this TSA attack here at the 34-minute uh, mark. Oh, it's only the LFL. This is, I don't think the LFL alone is enough to beat back the anchor of the Union. Uh, maybe joined by six Texas. We will see if that will be enough. Even that I don't think is enough to knock out these two units here. Oh, sorry, Alex. Uh, and you can see the GC has come up in a great flank attack here by Colonel Vibar here to kind of break the back of Ark in the LFL here. And that has knocked the CSA down to taking losses here. Three minutes remaining. And that attack has failed. And even more so, look, 88th has moved up here. Is now putting a lot of pressure here on these CSA elements over here so they can't support the LFL in their attack. We're at two mi less than three minutes remaining here. The CSA is running out of options, and now the Union is going to have an already position set up to overlook them as well here. I get that flag up, gentlemen. I'll make fun of you if you don't. Oh, shoot him in the back, boys. I'm in the way. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 we have no one, George. So we need people first before Josh. we have uh, second, second eyes. <laughs> charge, charge, guys, charge. Uh, this charge. is the opportunity where they got everybody, and there, in fact, is a unit out of position over there. So I think this, uh, this is it for them, but I think they have enough here. We'll see if they can do it. Oh, that already shot came in at an excellent time. See, the Union is a little bit thinned out here. Oh, why are they peeling off this direction here? Oh, they're going to try to hit them here. I think this attack can work here. I think the CSA has masked up enough to do it. In fact, the Union needs to counter charge now. These elements here need to, if they want to hold the point, need to move in to help. But I think it's too late. They've already not moved in. And that will be it. These units here will get wiped out. It's too late now. You waited too long. You had to make that call earlier than that. Not just about making the right call. It's about making the right call at the right time. In fact, if you make a right move at the wrong time, it's a wrong move. Now, there is a, another philosophy of this is, you know, you're just trying to throw away your tickets now and get them down to taking losses. But, um... That was too late. Oh, wow. CSA will be able to recap, and they will be put back on to engaged here, but it will be at the 37-minute mark. You're going to find out. Play it soon, boy. Come on. You're taking a little bit too long. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah we've ready? lost this anyway. Fire ready. Just fight yourself, fireman, fight yourself. Well, they have recaptured it. And they are back up to engaged. Once the CSA managed to get a full force there, they were able to recap. 
I'd be interested to see their next move here. Looks like they are holding on the point, which I might not recommend. This is a bit of a uh, kill box here. And the Union can really put in some heavy fire. Okay, now they're starting to pull off here. Here's the LFL. Moving off to the left, possibly looking to retake that hill position. You still have a 2 USC back there as a threat, and I think they've been joined again by the 88th. Looking at these numbers, indeed. The home guard does have some support. By the way, I do the flags for this. I know it doesn't look so good, um, so I can see how many guys they're killing on the other side. We're focusing west-southwest. The primary purpose of the channel is as an analytical tool. Hopefully as well, you know, get some cinematic views, but it's really to show, you know, how these battles actually develop from a, you know, tactical perspective and not uh, merely kind of just, you know, mind battle porn, I guess is a way to call it. Which I still try to get in there, but there's other guys that do it better than me. You know, what I can give you guys hopefully is some decent uh, analysis of the events. Why things are happening, how they're happening, etc., etc. Fred, triple quick. Here comes the anchor retaking his position. And fuck it, you know what? Two ranks on my left. Two ranks on my left. And SB is attacking forward here. And SB has carried forward that attack against the 51st New York here. Um, although they already had to pull back, they have they are they are kind of bypassing the six Texas, and this might hurt them here. The six Texas is now chasing them off here, although they do have support here from the six New York. But Dar hasn't seen that either. He needs to look to his right. Uh, the red's one on our right, by the way. Alright, so he says, never mind, focus on this. And Dar, I think, has made the right Spear call on that Spear one. Spear Spear one. As he will be able to catch the 20th Georgia who was dealing with his sister unit, the 88th there. So nice prioritization there by Mr. Dar. On se casse, 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 a bit of a skirmishing fight here between Eddie and the two core over here. Crouch down, boys. You can crouch. You can crouch and fire, boys. We're skirmishing. Nation's a little bit too wide. Hello. We can get... We can win. It's going to cost him a lot of tickets being in this formation here. Like that was probably 10 tickets right there. Those guys are both probably uh, both out of lines, as would be these two guys. T, we'll get on. Let's go left. Oh, it's time to get out of there. So he'll get away. See the problem now for the CSA, they're not only behind on tickets, but they're at 32 minutes and already had taken losses. Yes! Oh, right. You see, canister wasn't as effective against a linear target like that. It, it didn't really kill too many. And the Union has recapped again. I once more support this. Seven minutes now for the CSA to recap. 
And as given how well the uh, right, the Union performed on the previous defense, I think they can uh, absolutely do this again here. Just miss these guys doing an orange shot. Uh, let's just go locate, uh, load case. Oh, another enemy spawn. Oh, we do have an attack over here. Let's swing over. It's like t six Texas getting charged out by the 88th. Or maybe it's the 20th. And this time, the 20th has emerged victorious. Hold, 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 hold here. Don't move. Get back behind the case one. Back behind the case one. Back behind the case one. I've got John Front, milkshake rear. Meantime, here we've got 52nd New York who's going to try to ambush the SBRD. But they are wisely getting out of there before they uh, get charged. That is very key for the RD position, not to lose tickets when they get charged out like that. It's literally exactly in my eye level. Can we be defending here? Enemy red flag to the west. Red and white. Check that flag to the west. Kind of zoom out so we can kind of see the position again. You got the strong point on point with the GC, 6 New York, and the SB, and then you kind of have the flank guard here kind of restraining these elements with the 88th New York and the skirmishers of the 2 USC. For the CSA, you've got the main body, you know, you got a kind of the 20th here who's been trying to hold this flank open, and you've got the main body of the CSA force kind of spread out across this field here the uh, 6 Texas LFL, and then the 52nd. You second in a nice little position on the hill here. Kind of camp the Union already. I would absolutely stay here for them until it's time to do the attack. Also get some nice flanking shots into the Union. Um, looks like we got an attack developing over here. The CSA has massed. The LFL coming up here. I think they're going to try to knock back and secure this flank here before they go in for the point. I think that's a wise decision by them. Well, you still have a chance. We need to get out of it. They're charging left. Uh, he's right. It's it's time to go. Run! Second retreat! Run. Second retreat! Well, We're on the way <laughs> So I think this was a good call by the CSA to kind of unhinge the Union position here. Knock out this first, or knock this back at least, and then turn on the center. Reform um, on the rocks. Race. Race. God, so games. even though this, you know, Union stole a threat over here, as you saw last time, it's hard for them to get to this position in time to aid it. Oh my goodness, plenty of targets. A place type, plenty of targets. And the Union has opted to charge. I think this is the right call here. Try to knock them out and not let them get set now that they've lost that secondary position and inflict as much damage as you can. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was not a wise decision to charge at that point. You were a little bit too strong out, and these guys were concentrated. Even though they're vulnerable on a flank attack here, we'll see if 88s can pull off a flank attack here in time. Maybe Lieutenant Southern's going to move his men up here. If he acts quick enough, he might be able to catch him. I think they saw it just in time. We'll see, this could be a tough fight here. CSA is now at breaking. Two minutes 30 remaining. It's going to be a knife fight here. Alright, Bob, you need to like back off from my, my company, yeah? You're chatting a lot of waffle for a man that's on the other side of a fence, yeah? Hi. Yeah, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah, don't... And Jumbo has held against the 20th. Oh, but now you've got GC here who's going to try to deal with the 52nd. I think that's a mistake. I think the 50, John Beck is probably, he's one of those, you know, squirrely guys. He's probably not going to get caught out here. 
know, he's doing a good job of keeping the Union already off position here. Oh, keeping the Union distracted here. We'll see. A little high on those shots. He's gonna have to pull back now. Minute 30 remaining. GC can't get too distracted though. Uh, but here's a good move. So the 88th and 2 UFC have moved back up here to kind of hold this side here. Independent. But now we've got a major attack developing from this angle here. Here comes LFL. They're gonna try to come in and possibly knock out GC before swinging in. This was what I was worried about with GC being this far exposed here. Yep, they got caught by Ark. A good move, and you can see he came through the concealed position with those bushes there to conceal his movements before the final point where he attacked. So excellent maneuver there, and happened to attack there by the LFL. Although the SB had to come in to kind of aid him, and were able to knock him off. And it's also NYV charge as well, so a good counter charge there by the Union to stabilize the position and not get uh, wiped out. Really good play by all these units here. Uh, Union now on breaking as well, and the Union is going to carry forward the attack. The tip of the spear here under Lieutenant Dar. He's going to come forward and knock back these elements of two core and 20. Excellent maneuver here, and that will put the final nail in the coffin here. And this will end the match in a very decisive win for the Union team. Excellent play by both teams. Handily. Handily. Guys, shoot at the Rebels coming in. Use the slow-mo to steady your aim. Use the slow-mo to steady your aim. Not much more to say on that. I really enjoyed that watching that. I hope you guys did too. That was very well played.